How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. So, um, let's go. Ooh. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what that says. What does that say? I I don't read that. I can't read that. Is that Chinese? Is that what that is? I'm sorry if it's not. I, I can't read some languages. I just don't recognize very well. What is this? This was not here before. Was this here? No, it wasn't. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. You just said leave me alone. Come to me. You make up your mind. I'm waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Whatever. Same difference. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? You're supposed to be dead or in a hole. How the hell did you get up here? Hi! Why? I dropped you down a pit. Uh... <laughs> hey, buddy. You want some alcohol? I mean, we could get drunk together. Just forget everything happened. I mean, that's cool, right? Right here, let's, let's get you some alcohol. Crap, I gotta do something. Damn it! This monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? It's the only thing in here that I can attack you with. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to find something in my inventory that might work. The lighter. If you're gonna do that, the lighter. Ugh. I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Yeah, the rest of it's paper. There's no way these will work. Burn! Oh yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, you should be plenty flammable. Hi. Hi. Bye. Not gonna lie, I've already died five times. I started going through all of them and then OBS crashed on me again. OBS seems to like to crash on me. I don't know why. I need to check to see if it's an update or something. After this. He ran away. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why he ran away. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? So many questions. I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? I don't remember. What is with this? Oh, that's glass. Why not just use the glass? Why not step all over the glass while you're at it? Okay, I'm too afraid to head out. I'm gonna do this. Is he going to show up anywhere right now? Okay. I'm assuming the ones with, like, uh, keyholes painted over them that you just can't get in. Been in here. It doesn't look like it's going to be in here. How? Isn't that, like, a kitchen or something? There's a dining hall, but is there a kitchen anywhere? Like, in here. Kitchen. Dining hall. Kitchen. Same difference. <laughs> That's the dining hall. Is there a kitchen? Old, painted, painted. Is there going to be something in here? Well, I don't see any difference, anything new. So probably not in there. Hello? I mean, unless there's a knife in the books for who knows why. Where the hell does he go, by the way? He just kind of up and vanishes. So I can say this much. So far, I've gotten five game overs. Maybe six. But then, like, I was about to try to find, to get an idea of what to do. And I, I, when I realized I needed the lighter, yeah, it was during this episode. This, this take of this episode, I should say. Let's not go in there, shall we? Nothing left in there, I hope. Is there a knife in there? If so, maybe I can stabby stabby the guy to deathy deathy. There's no knife in here either. What the hell? It's locked. I don't have a key. So, where to? Keyhole's covered. I'm pretty sure there's nothing left in here. Shell is empty. 
looks like a bathroom. It is a bathroom. Keyhole covered. Keyhole covered. Keyhole covered. Wait. Why can't I? Eh. 112. Why can't I enter 112? I couldn't even interact with 112. What the hell? Um. Excuse me? So I'm going to assume I can't go in there then. Keyhole. Keyhole's painted. That was the other room. Okay, so none of these rooms we can go in. Huh. Keel painted. Keel painted. Keel painted. Been in here. Keel painted. Is this the one with the bathroom? Yes. Mirror's filthy. Water's grotesque. I know that's not what it says, but it's basically the same thing. Oh, 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 right here. Well, that's normal. Nothing strange about that. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it. Just for self-defense. Yeah, no shit. Got a knife. Yay. <sighs> the racks hold tableware and cooking utensils. Cool. And I know I left the light on, but I've got a little bit of a headache right now, so... I usually do this in the dark just because, but... It gives off a better feel to the game. Either way. I see the blood. That can't be good. And because I see the blood, I'm going to do this. The blood? That wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? Oh. No wonder I couldn't go in there before. Sissy? You okay? Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. It was your blood. Were you hurt? Nah, it's just blood pours out of my pores for absolutely no reason whatsoever sometimes. Don't worry about it, it's just normal. My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. Why do I feel like that's a lie? It's bleeding a lot, though. You've been resting here, right? What if you get amnesia? Just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to bind it. Wrap it up, whatever. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Bullshit. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arms, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? Then why are you here looking for it? You left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe it's why, maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. 
Even I'd hate a girl like me. No normal girl would say that. Even over time. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. No? I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. A key to somewhere! No worries checking all the doors, right? Again, for the umpteen bajillionth time. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Be careful, it's dark. Thanks. I'll look for your treasure, too. Hee <laughs> hee. You sure are nice, David. You might be growing on me. Is that really something we want? <laughs> I don't know if it's such a wonderful girl would suit a loser like me. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's a compliment to her. Why are you apologizing? Just in case something happens, I'm not... Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. The scary thing is this actually kind of... I feel like this is how I would legitimately respond if somebody did this. I don't see it that way. Of course you don't! Who are you? You're not kind, you're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Is this supposed to be your ex, David? Th this David? Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then this actually... Okay. No, yep, this is me. This would be me IRL, and it's frightening. I don't like this. I don't like how accurate this is to me IRL. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. Okay. That's not true. If this was realistic, and that would be how I'd respond, how he's responded so far. That's not true. Any woman who would do... I would get frustrated with any woman who said something like this, and I'd just go, you know what? Leave. I don't care. If you're going to be a jackass like that, leave. This would frustrate me. So maybe this next part would actually be a bit not me. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Bullshit. The, then what should I do? You just don't trust me. Is that it? Oh, no, yep. Still like me. This is getting frightening to me. Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. Why? What did I do to you? Care about other people as well as you? Is that a problem? Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. But wait, we can talk this out. Surely. Yep. Shirley is a jackass. What, do you, what the hell did you see in her, David? Other David. Kindness is all you have. Is that a bad thing? Sissy and I are the same, like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way, too. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so now we have to check every... Do oh, well, I'll, okay. It's not going to be in here, because everything in here is unlocked. That can be unlocked. Here, maybe? Okay! I Seriously, that was just a lucky guess. I did not know that. It's the first door I... W We're outside. Can we just leave now? Just in case I do a stupid. I'm just gonna leave, bye. I cannot leave. Hi. <laughs> Something's in the fountain. Oh, it's the music box. 
fox. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It would make sense. That's a lot of water to splish splash around to get a box. Must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Will do, sir. <clears throat> you know what? This is... <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. I feel like this is going to bring on multiple circumstances. Oh, no. Did Sissy leave already? She's wounded. Sissy! <clears throat> this can't be good. Okay, I'm saving. And we're going. What the hell? Sissy? Sissy? Where the hell are you? Nope. 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 Sissy? Honestly, if this was reality, she'd probably be dead by now. No, we're not ending where we started. I would assume this is close to the end, at least of the first scene. Again, I think there's four of them. Okay, let's paint over. She's not in here, so she can't be in the downstairs because that's, yeah, that's all the downstairs. There's just the two rooms. If this was IRL, Sissy would be, de would be dead by now. Sissy would be dead by now. Okay. I don't want to have to wander around too far, so just in case. Sissy? I seriously did not expect this. Ah, ah. No, no! Stay away! Stop right there! Back off, monster. David! Yeah, hi. That doesn't scare me at this point. Damn it! Sissy. Oh crap, what did she say? Did David? What are you. I said run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. I didn't know this was going to be the case. I guess we're finishing this off. Ow, 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 ow. How do I... Oh. Oh, okay. I did it, I think. That was not hard. I thought that was going to be harder than it actually was. Okay, that was easy. David. I win. I think. <laughs> David. David, are you okay? Uh. Ow. Yep, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But. But what? Sissy? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? What did that horrible monster... Why did that horrible monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him, at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. 
Whoa. What was that? What was that? Okay. Two options. Since I did save the battle and it's not going to take very long to beat it, I'm going to save the one that I would normally not save first. And in my circumstance, for most of the at least in this case, to try to cheer the person up, I would say what's wrong with being a wimp, and then say that I am because, well, in this circumstance, I'd consider myself a wimp. So I'm going to say please don't cry. I wouldn't say that IRL. Please, don't cry. Crying won't do any good. I know all too well how you feel, but that's why I wouldn't say it right there, because I would know how sh she would feel. This is not supportive, at least not in my mind. It may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I don't agree with this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday, so please, don't cry. You won't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do? This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry. I was selfish. I know better than anyone that I can't keep going like this. I can't keep stewing over it. I, I need to forget him. Oh! Well, that's not the sound of a box breaking, that's the sound of glass breaking. It's a precious memory, but I don't need it anymore, do I? I'll be going now. Sorry I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah, thanks, sissy. Be well. Sissy! Sissy, hey, open up! Sissy! Sissy! Damn it! Stop it! Stop it right now! Don't you lay a hand on her! Open this door! Uh-oh. Stop! I did a bad, didn't I? Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Hi. Hi. That wasn't the right decision. Bad end number, wait, what? There are multiple bad ends. <laughs> okay. What a sissy. All right, well, I'll meet you guys over when we get the choice again, and we will decide on the other decision, the one that I'd actually make. See you guys in a sec. Okay, so we're back at this. We're gonna scroll through these really quickly. Hi. Just spam through them, but not too fast, because I don't want to accidentally Okay. I didn't realize, by the way, the, the decision that I would normally make would be the one that would be the good outcome. I didn't know that. I'm kind of shocked it is. That's like twice this episode when that kind of thing has happened. I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? Please, please say what I would usually say. I want to hear. It. I want to read it. If it, this, if this is, if he says exactly what I would normally say in this situation, then again, this episode is showing that this game is this character is scary accurate to my normal self, huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing?
Yep, this is scary accurate. Is it such a bad thing? No. David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man. That's just a freaking stereotype. This is what I would say, though. Not exact wording, but close enough to where it's scaring me. Especially in romance. True. IRL true. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. Temporarily, that was true for me, actually. I'm not going to talk too much on that, but... Except it wasn't really married, it was... The friend that I'm talking about just got a uh, into a relationship, and there was a temporary time where I was single, and it did kind of bring me down. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? Yeah, this is definitely how I would react. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't say this is not me. This is definitely me. I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Aww. Thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A, a key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it... A key. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Maybe this bra... Oh, that's what that was for. Okay. I was wondering why you couldn't use it throughout the whole thing. Nah, of course not. Uh, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What, really? Uh, I, I picked it up around here. Wasn't that the one I found at my apartment? A key for my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved with the box. What does that mean? How stupid are you? Former tenant is her ex-boyfriend. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages. Which means he... I don't get it. But I, I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Oh, no. Oh, no, not a... Ugh. Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well? Aww. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Aww. That surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. And is this an address? Maybe that's where he, he is now. I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Dang. Scene one. Hotel Ruinheim. Sissy. End. 
Holy crap. Um, I'm actually going to leave this video here. We went ex a bit extensive compared to the normal episode, but eh, it's fine. It wasn't like stupid extensive. Jeez. That's like a flood of information at once. So all I've learned from this so far is that her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, left that behind for her, locked it up, but gave a way to provide to open it. But it makes me wonder, why would she... I, I still have a few questions going through my head. I'm not going to say them up front because maybe we'll figure it out along the way. Either way, though, I am going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Crooked Man. If you liked it, push that like button and so bright you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions for any other horror games or RPGs, or, you know, both maybe, and let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any others that I've done prior to this game? I'll have a link to one down over there. However, this game itself will be across to my head here. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!